semi-autonomous ball throwing bar climbing robot, uh, robots are something we expect to see from a big engineering company like NASA. But Indiana high schoolers are programming and building the bots all by themselves. Kelly Lichter reports on a team from Bloomington South competing at the Robotics State Championships. Since January, the Bloomington South Quadrangles have been crafting a robot that seems to do the impossible. The robot must outshoot, outclimb, and outdrive the competition at the first Indiana Robotics State Championship in hopes of making it to nationals. For many students on the team, this will be their first state championship due to COVID, but that doesn't intimidate them. We like to say here uh, that these tournaments and first itself is the hardest fun you'll ever have. Months of research, programming, and building go into the robots. Part of the design strategy is steal the best, invent the rest, or be inspired from the best. Co-lead designer for the team Brock Teagarden says the teams always draw inspiration from past robots. After planning and designing, the team moves on to building and programming. Robots this year had to not only shoot balls into a tall center basket, but also climb staggered monkey bars and drive semi-autonomously. It is an incredibly complex process to make a machine like this that does everything that it does, and it comes a very long way from kickoff back in January. The teams use 3D printers to make some of the parts. Then they solder, screw, and drill the pieces together to get the robot in tip-top shape. When it comes to coding the machines, team mentor Alex Von Hohn says the students do it all on their own. And in some capacity, I'm technically a programming mentor, but I've never actually had to write a single line of code for the robot before. Our students have done all of that. The fast-paced competition and hopes of national robotic glory are enticing to the high schoolers who participate. But Von Hohn says the competition gives the students more than just a trophy. This program seems to be very effective at connecting students to things that they are interested in doing then and giving them an end to which to pursue that thing and to learn it and resources to actually be able to learn and accomplish in that. The Bloomington South team didn't perform well enough in the tournament to advance to nationals, but they're already planning how they can outbuild the competition next year. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Kelly Lichter.